Okay, hi everyone. So for this first example, we have uh, the given ultimate analysis goal. And then we want this goal for the boiler. But it should be noted that it is dried before it is supplied to the hole. And we have the data for the excess air, the partial burned uh, carbon, and then the ash of the refuse, or the ash content of the refuse. So we want to predict the ores of analysis of the flue gas and determine its density at this given temperature and pressure. Okay, so how do we do this now? No? So we, first we need to visualize how this happens. No? So if you have this fuel, it goes through a dryer. No? So if you have your, uh, your carbon, hydrogen, your oxygen, uh, nitrogen, sulfur, ash, and then moisture, it goes through first in a dryer, no? And uh, it is also pulverized. So we've discussed before why why do we need to pulverize the pool, right? So we just we just want to include here the dryer. No? So after the dryer, it is assumed to be completely dry. So the moisture is now gone, no? At this point, so you have everything else minus moisture. No? And then it enters the combustion chamber, and then you have the products, no, which are the gaseous, no. So the gaseous, and also the refuse, or the solid refuse. Okay. So for the gaseous, you have carbon dioxide. So this is assumed to be is this incomplete or complete or theoretical? So if we have this, then this will be incomplete, no. So if you have only this, this will be a complete, no? And you don't have this. You don't have this. This will only be a complete. But since we have uh, excess air, we have also the partial burned by carb uh, partially burned carbon, and we also have a percentage of ash refuse. So for complete combustion, that is 100% complete. Uh, no, 100% uh, ash refuse, no? So, so solid refuse. So this should have CO, no? Carbon monoxide. You have water vapor, you have sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, and also oxygen. Okay, so the fuel that goes here is uh, dry air, no? So we don't have moisture, we don't have wet bulb or humidity ratio, so it has only given oxygen and nitrogen, no moisture. So to solve for this, uh, uh, this RSAT analysis, uh, we can find first the mass basis of the the products of combustion and then after that you can just use the molecular weight to convert it to a volumetric uh, basis no so if it is orsat analysis again you should take note that this is dry volumetric no so if this is dry meaning we don't want to include so no water vapor no h2o in the analysis so volumetric Per moles no, or kilomoles volumetric. So to do that, we just want to do the mass basis, and then after that, we can find the the, the volumetric basis, and then we have to remove the water, uh, the water vapor. So before we do that, we let's first uh, remove the moisture. So we have moisture here. It enters the combustion chambers, combustion chamber. Uh, without the moisture, so we have to remove the moisture. So we have the analysis without the moisture. So you have, uh, if this is 57.61 for carbon, so you have carbon here. So you have moisture free, uh, free analysis. So carbon here, you have 57 or 0. Point, oh, actually, sorry. So you have 0. Uh, 0.5761 all over 1 minus moisture. So the moisture here is 10%, so 0. 0.10. And then for hydrogen as well, you have 0 0.0573, 1 minus 0 0.1. And then you have oxygen, uh, 0 0.058, all over 1 minus 0 0.1. And then you have nitrogen, uh, that is 0 0.0107, 1 minus 0 0.10. Uh, sulfur, you have uh, 0 0.0329, uh, 1 minus 0 0.1, and then lastly, you have the ash basis, 
that will be 16, no? so 0 0.165 over 1 minus 0 0.10. So you have to compute this using your calculator. No? The total of this should be 100%. No? So we can check using your calculator. Uh, you have, uh, um, I think I'll just do this, make this quicker, 0.9. So calc, and then you have 0 0.5761. So you have, ah, sorry. You have six, uh, six, uh, 0 0.64, or I'll just write here the percentage. No? So you have 64%, 64.01%. And then what else? So you have 0 0.0573. 0 0.636 so 6.37 no? so 0 or sorry 6.367 no? so let's use four significant figures then you have point uh, 0 0.058 okay 64 6.444 percent then nitrogen Point zero one zero seven. <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> about that. So, uh, this will be one point one eight nine. Next one, sulfur. Point zero three two nine. Three point six. 3.656. Lastly, the ash, you have 0.165. Okay, so that's it. So you can you can verify if this is 100 uh, percent as long as you check. No. Okay, so after doing this, we can now find the Air fuel ratio. So to find the air fuel ratio, the theoretical fuel ratio, you have what is the formula? You have eleven point five C. So C here is sixty four, no? So zero point sixty four zero one plus so the H, no? So you have um no, I thought thirty four point five, no? Thirty four point five, and then H here is zero point zero six three six seven. Minus oxygen, so we have 0 0.644, actually 0, 0, pala, no? 0 0.06444 over 8, and then plus 4.32. So you can use 4.325, but I will just use 4.32. For the sulfur, you have 0 0.03656. So to get the mass uh, of that, the theoretical air, that is. Uh, point six four so plus thirty four point five times you have point zero six three six seven minus point zero six four 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 all over eight uh, and then plus four point thirty two times point zero three six five six so you have nine point four three eight so you have nine point four three eight kilograms of what no kilograms of air per kilogram of fuel so to get the actual air so you have maa you can just multiply this by the excess air so the excess air is 40 percent so you have nine point forty eight three four eight three four eight um, multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.4, the excess air. So the actual air is uh, multiplied by 1.4. So you have 13.21. So 13.21 kilogram of air per kilogram of fuel. Okay. So you can use this later. Oh. 
for the formulas to getting the ratio. So the last thing we should also take note of before moving on, so to speak, the division here. So the next thing that we should do is to find the actual carbon burn. No? So to find the actual carbon burn, you have the carbon from the ultimate, ultimate analysis minus uh, you have the ash content, actually the CR, no? This is the CR. Yes, the CR over the ash content. Ash content in the refuse, and then this is the ash content in the ultimate analysis. So we have a carbon, no? So the carbon from the ultimate analysis, that is dry, no? This is dry. So you have uh, 0 0.6401 minus the ash, no? So CR here is what, no? So you have AR. So if this is AR is equal to 90%, you can say that CR is 10%. Okay? So this should be 0 0.1 over 0 0.90. And then the ash content in the ultimate analysis is 18.33. So this will be 0, 1, 8, uh, 0, 1, 8, 3, 3. So the actual carbon burned. Uh, so maybe I have a calculation here. 0 0.6401 minus 0 0.1 over 0.9 times 0 0.1833. So you have 61. 97 so 0 0.6197 so the units here should be the carbon uh kilogram of carbon burned over the kilogram fuel okay so uh, we can now find the mass of the co2 oh, in the uh, what do you call this in the product side so the formula for that to remember, no? So we have 44 over 12. So we are assuming incomplete combustion, no? Again, this would be incomplete combustion. So you have Y here and then the carb actual carbon burned. So you have 44 over 12. And then Y here is 0 0.87. And then the carbon burned is 0 0.6167. So to take note of the units, uh, you have kilogram of uh, carbon burned over kilogram of fuel, no? And this will be um anyways, uh let's just say that this is kilogram of CO2. Just to make things brief, no? Uh per kilogram of fuel. No? So MCO2, mass of the carbon dioxide. Calculate this, you have 44 over 12. So 12 times 0.87 times 0.6197 so this will be 1.977 no? 1.977 kilogram of co2 per kilogram of fuel so we will take make use of this later so the next thing is the mco so this is incomplete combustion we have carbon monoxide so for the carbon monoxide how do we compute for the carbon monoxide? You have the 1 minus, no? so 1 minus y, diba? and then this is 28 over 12, and then you have c prime. So this will be equal to 28 over 12, and then 1 minus 0 0.87, and then you have the, the kilogram of carbon burns, 0 0.6197, that's it. So you can have this MCO as uh, we have a calculation here. So 28 over 12 times 1 minus 0.87 times 0.6197. So you have 187, no? 180. 0. 0.1880. Kilogram of CO over kilogram of fuel. Yeah, so we will make use of this later. This later division here. So the next one will be. Um, let me check what my notes. What's the next one that I have written? So this should be. Um, 
you have the mass of the excess air pala, no? Excess air. So, the excess air, so we have oxygen. So, we excess oxygen, not the excess air. So, this will be uh, 16 over 12, and the, uh, the mass of the excess air pala, no? So, 0 0.231, and then E times the mass of the theoretical air, right? And then plus you have 1 minus y. Sorry. We have 16 over 12 pala muna, no? Then 1 minus y and then carbon prime. So yeah, let me just double check this, no? Are we good here? Okay, we are good here, no? So 16 over 12, okay. We are correct. No? So we can just substitute the, the values here. Values, values, There's, these are all given. So we have 0 0.231, excess air is 0 0.4, mass of the theoretical air is 9.438, 9.438, okay? And then you have 16 over 12, 1 minus 0 0.87, and then the carbon burn of 0 0.6197. So one calculation, 0.231. Times point four times nine point four three plus sixteen over twelve over twelve times one minus point eighty seven times point six one nine seven. So point ninety seven ninety five no? zero point ninety seven ninety five of uh oxygen. Well this is excess, right? So, just to take note, excess per kilogram of fuel. Okay. The next one will be hydrogen or sorry, uh, water vapor or H2O. So, for H2O, you have 9H2. No? Uh, or just 9H. No? You can write 9H or 9H2O plus the humidity ratio of this. And then you have the mass of the actual air. And then plus you have the H. Sorry, I always forget this. No, Let me just double check. Sorry, guys. My memory, my memory is not that sharp anymore. Oh, we need to do the end to first, pala, no? So, anyways, tayo. So, we only have this. So we have given. Uh, each no from ultimate analysis for the ah we have to add m nga pala no you forgot m no so we have moisture but since this is dry no so this is dry so zero because dry and then we don't have uh w because dry air no so zero because dry air and then this is dry fuel no so the nine each we only have uh six three 6.367. So 9 times 0 0.6367. Uh -huh. 0, 0.0 pala. No? 637 for the mass of the H2O. So this will be equal to um, 9 times 0 0.06367. Yeah, no. 573. No? So 0 0.5730 kilogram of uh, hydrogen per kilogram of fuel. Okay. What's next? So the hydrogen, uh, sorry, the nitrogen. The nitrogen, uh, with the nitrogen, the nitrogen is, uh, you have 0 0.769, the mass of the actual air, right? And then plus the nitrogen content of the fuel. No? So it's a fuel, no? So since we have uh well nothing really no so this can be calculated pala already. So mass of the actual air is thirteen point twenty one and then plus the nitrogen here, so this is uh one point one eight nine so zero point zero one eight one one eight nine no one one eight nine uh, that's it. So the mass of the nitrogen. So 0.769 times 13. 
0.21 plus 0.01189. So we have 10.17. 10.17 kilogram of nitrogen per kilogram of fuel. So what's the last one? We have the sulfur dioxide. So sulfur dioxide, this is the simplest one. This is just 2S. So 2S and then multiply. Uh, multiply the ultimate analysis of sulfur, which is 3656. No? So 2 times 0 0.03656. Okay, so we have 2 times 0 0.03656. Yeah. So 0 0.0731. 0 0.73. 1, 2, yan. kilogram of sulfur dioxide per kilogram of fuel. So, we will make use of this no, for our ORSAT analysis. We can actually find the mass. No, we, we might use this, but we can find the mass of the flue gas. Uh, we'll just write here Fg, flue gas, and wet no, if we include the mass of the H2O. And you can also find the mass flow, uh, flow rate, uh, sorry, yes, the mass, something like the mass flow rate, no, completely, but the mass of the flue gas that is dry, okay? So for the wet, we can include everything, including the the water, no, or the H2O. For the dry, we don't have to include anything. So to find the mass uh, of the flue gas, we can just add everything, no? So I will not write this anymore, I'll just add. I'll just add this here directly. No? So 1.977 plus 0 0.1880. Uh, we have plus 0 0.9795 uh, plus 0.573 plus 10.17 plus 0 0.07. 312. No? So you have 13.96. 13.96 kilogram of what no? Of all this no of products no or flu gas per kilogram of UL. Okay. For dry, for the dry, you can also find that out. You just have to remove the water on the H2O. Which is 5730. Let's so remove this. And have 13.39. 13.39 kilogram of uh, flue gas over kilogram of fuel. So take note that this is dry, this is wet. And, oh. So to find the ORSAT analysis, really, uh, to find the ORSAT analysis, Okay, so take note that ORSA analysis is dry, right, and volumetric. Okay, so therefore the number of molecules of the, the flue gas is the sum of all, no, of the products of combustion. So we just want to, to uh, excluding, no, excluding H2O excluding H2O. So we want to find the total volumetric no, or the number of kilomoles per kilogram of fuel. And then we can find the, the what? No? We can find the total volume. Then we can find the volume of each of the product per the total volume. So we can say here uh, that this is the number of uh, kilomoles of uh, CO2 plus the number of kilomoles or the number of molecules of carbon monoxide, of uh, oxygen, of nitrogen, and uh, we are excluding hydro, uh, water vapor, no? And lastly, the SO2, no? So we have sulfur dioxide. So to find this, uh, no? So we know that this is, this one, no? Is kilogram per kilo. No, kilogram of, let's say, nitrogen per kilogram of fuel. But we know that molecular weight po is in kilogram of that um, element, no? 
per kilomol. Diba? So, if we divide this no, by its molecular weight, if we divide the mass of CO2, so for example lang, no, lagyan natin dito, example, if we divide the mass of CO2 per its molecular weight, what happens with its units is you have kilogram of carbon no, per kilogram of fuel over the kilogram of uh, carbon per kilomol of carbon. No? So we can cancel out this kilogram of carbon. What happens is this will become kilomol of carbon per kilogram of fuel. So we can convert this into kilomoles, which is the, the volumetric basis. No? So this will be divided. Kung ano nakuha natin CO2, we just divide this by its molecular weight. So the molecular weight of CO2 is 44, di ba? So you have um, 1.977 and then divided by the molecular weight, which is uh, 44. No? And then you have CO, so you have uh, 0.1. 0 0.1880 divided by divided by the molecular weight of carbon monoxide that is 28 right so 12 plus 16 okay that's correct and then for oxygen uh you have um where is that so oxygen here is 0 0.9795 0 0.9795 Divided by, so what is the molecular weight of oxygen? Is that 32 or 16? So this should be 32. 32 pa rin. Plus you have the nitrogen. So the nitrogen here is the largest. No? It should be 10.17. So the nitrogen occupies a lot of space no? because of uh, the composition of air. Largely uh, as uh, uh, nitrogen. So nitrogen is also 28, 14 times 2, diba? And then lastly, you have SO2. So SO2 here is 0 0.07312. 0 0.07312. No? So the sulfur here is what? No? Sulfur is, I always forget, no? This is 32 nga ba? You can remember it is 32, but I just want to make sure. Sorry, guys. Just want to make sure that it's 32. We don't have an example. Oh, don't have. No? Anyways, I think it is 32. I believe so. So this will be 64. Okay, we don't have a... Yeah, we have a reading here. No? So we can, we can check if this is correct. Anyways, so 64 here. Then you have uh, what's the next one? We can find the um the total molecules or yes the total kilomoles. So uh just do this again one point nine seven seven forty four. It is very long to solve this, right? Point one eight eight. 28, 28, and 28 plus 0 0.9795, 32, plus 10.17, all over 28, plus you have 0 0.073124. So this will be 4466, no? 0 0.4466. What does it mean, no? This is the kilomol of all the fuels per kilogram, or actually the, the, the products, to, no? It should be the kilomol of the products or the flue gas. Well, this is just the dry, no? Flue gas dry. And then per fuel. So what is the significance of this? We can find the analysis, the Orset analysis, if we divide everything with this. So this is the total, basically, the total volume. We just want to divide with each of this, no? to each of this. So if we want to find Orset analysis for, let's say, CO2, 
So this will be uh, 1.977 over 44 divided by 0 0.4466. So we can already verify if our answer is correct. So 1.977 all over 44 time uh, over 0.4466. So ito, ito na po. No? So 10.06. Let's see kung tama naman tayo. Okay, tama naman tayo. No? So 10.06%. Okay? So just write this in percentage no? para mas maganda tingnan. So I'll just write this every, everything here for CO. So we have 0 0.188 over 28 and then divide pa ng uh, 0 0.4466 and then for um, oxygen you have uh, 0 0.9795 divided by 32 then divided by 0 0.4466 just write down uh, in this part so you have uh, nitrogen so this will be 10.17 over 28 divided by 0 0.4466 and also for sulfur uh, dioxide so specific for dioxide um, 0 0.07312 over 64 then divide this by 0 0.4466 so the total of this percentages should be 100% so let's verify everything um, I think I'll just make things quicker if I do this now 0.4466 so calc uh you have point point one eight eight one 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 eight eight lang pala divided by twenty eight so you have uh fifteen point uh zero three uh, so correct ah one point five lang pala no? one point five zero three percent then for oxygen so point nine seven nine five divided by 32 so 6.853 6.853 percent for nitrogen 10.17 divided by 28 so 81.33 81.33 percent and then uh sulfur dioxide you have 0 0.07312 and then divide by 64. So you have, oh, so this is very small, no? Times 10 to the negative 3. So 0 0.25, 2558, 2558 percent. So let me verify if I am correct. Okay, we are correct, no? So this is your ORSAT analysis, no? So the total of this, should be 100%. Take note of that. You can double check that that one. So this is your answer for the ORSAT analysis for A. Ayan na po yun. Now, to find the, the density. So to find the density, how to find the density? The density can be found using ideal gas law. No? So you have PV is equal to MRT, basically. You have the given pressure and temperature. No, so to find the density, usually this is just M over V. So we want to know the R or the gas constant. So for the usual air, we know that that is about 0.287. But since this is a different composition no, of air, blue gas, then we have a different R. So we can rewrite this, no, M over V for density basically is equal to, so as we can see, you have P over R P. No? So this is given, this is given. We just want to find the R first to find the density. So the R can be found now using the gas constant, no? universal gas constant over the molecular weight of your flue gas. No? So take note that this is the flue gas. But take note that the flue gas has water here no? in our analysis. No? Or in, a, or in the ORSAT analysis, we don't need the water. But in the flue gas of the molecular weight, the total molecular weight, we need the, the H2O. So this will be the wet, no? molecular weight so how do we find the molecular weight now of the of this uh, of this flue gas oh. how do we know 
we can actually utilize the total volume, no? We can find the total volume, but uh, this should be the wet, no? The wet, no? So to find the, the number of, uh, or the volume the, the volume of flue gas that is wet. So this is dry, kasi ano, dry. So for the wet, we just want to add, so since this is dry, you just add the, the, wet, the wet portion, no? So plus, we have to consider the, the water. So the water here will be, 0.5730, no? 0 0.5730. And what is the molecular weight of H2O? So the molecular weight of H2O is what? No? Molecular weight of H2O is 2 plus 16. So this will be over 18. So you can find that uh, this one will be uh, 0.4466 plus 0.573 over 18. So we have 4784, no? 0 0.4784. So ito yung volumetric, no? Or total volume ng flue gas na wet. So ang unit natin dito, the units are kilomol per kilogram, no? So kilomol of flue gas that is wet and flue gas. Sorry, fuel pala to, no? Fuel. Fuel. So wet. So now we can utilize this if we now use which one no we can use the the mass basis no we can actually use this no? we can divide this by 13.86 so to cancel the kilogram no this one diba? right so the molecular weight is basically just kilogram of uh, that compound per kilomol diba Ay, baliktad. Sorry. You will. Okay. So, this will be... Uh, let me just check my notes. No? Can I see this? Let me just check if I am correct. No? Okay, we are correct naman. No? So, molecular weight. Okay, we're doing we're we're doing right now. We're making the right choices here. <laughs> so to find the molecular weight, oh, using just unit analysis, you can say that this is just the the mass no of the flue gas wet over uh the the n the volume the volume of of the wet also of the flue gas, which are the following. So this one is thirteen point ninety six. So you have 13.96 and then all over what you have here is uh, 0 0.4784. So we can analyze the units here again. No? So this will be kilogram of uh, wet flue gas per kilogram of fuel and then divided by uh, you have kilomol of uh, flue gas wet per kilogram of fuel. So as you can see, we can cancel this kilogram of fuel. What happens is you have kilogram per kilomol, which is the molecular weight. So the molecular weight can be solved. We have 13.96 divided by 0.4784. Okay. So 29.18. 29.18. So basically, parang uh, air lang din, no? kilogram per kilomol of flue gas to, no? Flue gas na wet. So, we can utilize this to find the R. So, the R here is equal to, so, the, the gas constant is actually, uh, no, universal gas constant, which is 8.3134, and then divide this by 29.18. All right? So, Wait lang ba? What happened here? In my notes. Three one four three pala na malina naman ako na sumulat. Three one four three. Yeah. So we can find this the value of this as eight point three one four three divided by twenty nine point eighteen. You have twenty eight. 
uh, ah, sorry, 0.28 for nine pala. My bad. 0.2849. That is in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. No? Okay. So, uh, we cannot utilize this to find the density. So, the density is equal to the pressure. So, pressure natin is, from the original problem, we have 140 kilo kPa. So, this should be uh, the absolute, no? Probably. Okay. 140 kPa. kPa A over, we have the gas constant, uh, the R, 2849. Uh, kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, then multiplied by the temperature. So take note that you, this should be the absolute temperature. So you have to add 273, no? 273 in Kelvin. So the density will be um, 140 all over 0.2849 times 280 plus 273. So this will be 0.8886, no? so 0 0.8886. So the unit should be kilogram per cubic meter. You can check the units no, if you want, uh, but this should be kilogram in, uh, in cubic meter. So that's all. So thank you, guys.